Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Ko Halao La Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, which means all praises to your Father, Yahawa, in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Examine thyself. Examine thyself. All right. Now, this is an important lesson that all can take heed, even myself. Because at times, while being in this truth, you have to examine yourself to see whether you are in the truth. All right. You got to examine yourself to see whether you are in the truth. You got a lot of men that know the truth, that claim the truth, but they're not in the truth. And this is why we tell you that this truth is scary because it really boils down to the elect. You know, precepts, scriptures say uh, many are called, but few are chosen. All right. And we hope that not only we were called, but we are the chosen. You know, the elder apostles of Great Millstone, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar, he put out the vibration. You know, brothers got to be working. And that's what brothers are supposed to do, according to scripture. All right. To see salvation, we must work. You know, he put out decree, uh, 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 order, you know, as brothers to um, do three shows a week. And, uh, you know, if you've fallen short of that, examine yourself. That's what this lesson is for. If you've fallen short of the orders in which the apostles put out, you know, and you're a brother, and you're a prophet, teacher, all right? You know, you, you are a steward of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai of this ministry, and you have not putting out three shows a week. Examine yourself and see whether are you in the faith. Because if you're not pushing this truth, then you're not in the faith. All right? You're not in the truth. There's so many things in this world that you can get yourself into. There's so many distractions. But the Lord says, seek ye the kingdom on the most high first. And um, let me get this quick scripture. Let me get this quick scripture. It's Matthew 6. Bear with me. I don't have it here in my note that I had. So I'm going to go to the Bible and get it. Matthew 6 and verse 33. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So our main priority is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? No matter what else we got going on, all right? No matter what else is being brought before us to distract you or to hinder you in this truth, the scripture says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. All right. So, you know, all of us, brothers, we need, you know, we're slaves in this wicked kingdom, man. We're slaves and we all need, a, uh, you know, some some finances. We need things to help us get get by to take care of our families and take care of ourselves and our health, our, our own health. All right. And we would love if the Lord you know make a way for us to have those things but allow us to push this truth even harder all right that's supposed to be your prayers to yahweh bashim yahweh shah all right you shouldn't be you know the scriptures also talk about how uh mammon you know you either gonna hate the one or love the other a man can't serve two masters if you chasing money that's your master if you're chasing Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that is your master. All right? So you can't have both. But what it is, you can pray to the Most High to give you balance. The things that are necessary for you to have in order to teach this truth. Your health, you know, resources as in, you know, maybe a place to stay. Some, uh, some solitary time. All right? Uh, some money where you can buy yourself food and water. The real necessary things that we need are very important, but the Lord knows these things that we need. So our spirit has to be strictly for 
Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and like the scriptures say, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So all these things are going to be added unto us if we just seek the kingdom first. Now you may seek the kingdom first with you may have this um may be overzealous. Well, can't be too much overzealous, but you may be overrighteous in better words when you first come in because you you fear the Lord, you know. And in the beginning, you had that 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 spirit on you to 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 be willing, you know. No one really got to tell you. You're just hoping that you learn the right things to do to please Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and to push the truth. But as the more time you stay into the truth, the more you get relaxed, the more everything's become what, a routine, you know, you get comfortable. And this is why the Lord gives us, all right, tribulations, you know, because we're like water. We're like, a, 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 we're like water and the Most High throws a rock within your water to disrupt your current, all right, to disrupt your flow. And that's all to keep your mind pure and to the fact that you are seeking salvation so that you don't lose track or get too comfortable in things that are of the world or at least you lose your promise man or excuse me at least you lose the promise which was which, which was said was was given unto you all right by being servants of the lord man being the elect so it says but seek ye first the kingdom of yahweh and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. So in all reality, you're supposed to be hastening in the day. You're supposed to be in that spirit. Now we all need things, man. All right, and we all, like I said before, we want, we hopes that the Lord can, you know, provide us with those necessary things we need. But our main uh, our priority and our spirit, our, our fire driven is to push this truth, to do, to work for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So it says, take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. And why? Because tomorrow Yahweh Shai could be here. Tomorrow World War Three could be declared. Tomorrow martial law. Tomorrow could be the force of the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip. Okay? Tomorrow's going to take its course regardless. So what spirit are you to be? In all holy conversation and what? Godliness, man. Not playing or playing this, this game or, 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 or looking to further yourself in riches of this world. It's a reason why we taste of the heavenly gift. Because we were poor, but rich in spirit. And you can't forget these things. This is principle, man. Okay? So if you're not working for the Lord and you have a hard time doing your shows, as which was ordered by you from our spiritual fathers, which you acknowledge and give double honors to, then you're not in the truth. You may know the truth. You may, sp you may uh, uh, talk of the truth, but you're not in the truth. Now, is it written in the scriptures where it said we got to do three shows a, uh, a week? No. But what it is, we follow order, okay? The Most High set up men who he anointed to give other men this word and to wake up the elect until the end. And it's a, and it's a way about how you go with things, man, because the Ecclesiastes third chapter said there's a time and season up under the heavens and a purpose. So everything is done in a season. So things will speed up, just like there will be a famine of not teaching this word no more, all right? And a and good thing about Elder Spotsman Sahar's order for doing that is to keep all of us in shape. Keep all of us exercising, all right, so that we can win the race, all right, so that we can win the race. We can be prepared for the day of the battle, which the day of the battle is approaching, Jacob's trouble. The, the uh, you know, the uh, hours of temptation, which we hope to be exempt, exempt from. May the Lord give us the spirit Give us that mark upon our foreheads, which that Hebrew word of mark going to th thawah, 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 all right, which means exemption from judgment, man. So, it, so it's a beautiful thing that the Lord put a spirit on the elders for us to, to push this word uh, heavy the way it's supposed to because we at the end. You know, remember, everything is done by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. 
if a man's not telling you to go off, he's not telling you anything wrong, man. If a man's not telling you to go off, excuse me, let me correct my words. If a man's not telling you to go off, why are you worried about it? What is the problem? If a man is helping you to better yourself in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and to be more acquainted and be more close to the Lord, how can you get mad? All right. But it says, take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for its things itself, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. All right. So let me drop that. And uh, let's get back to here. Now examine thyself topic. Now 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine, examine yourself whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own selves. How that Yahweh and Mashiach, all right, is in you, except ye be reprobates. But I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. And that's plain as day. Examine yourself, man. You know, if you're a really man of the Lord, you're going to examine yourself. But if you're not a man of the Lord, you're going to get mad and you're going to say the hell with man. You know, but not realizing that's a man of the Lord. All right. So really, you're going against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. How do you prove your own selves? Because how do you prove your own self? You examine yourself. All right. Know ye not your own selves. And it's not of us. It's not of us just as a mortal fleshly man. It's of the spirit that is in this fleshly man. All right. To make him what? A, a, a man of the Lord. It says how that Yahweh Shai and Mashiach is in you. So the Lord is truly in us. And I'm going to say this. The Lord is truly in those men that endure unto the end. You know, one thing we like to say is that the hardest thing about being in the truth is staying in the truth. You know, there's so many distractions. Satan is always tempting you, man. And you know what? You know, if, and it really boils down to you not fearing the Lord, man. You don't really fear. You know, none of us do these videos. You know, you don't even have to watch a video. A brother feeling, a brother may uh, be feeling um, some type of way when he see the title. He's not even going to watch the video, man. Because he feel like he's going to get cut. Well, that's on you, man. All right? If these videos not motivating you for you to work for the Lord, then it's just not in you. Okay? It says, uh, yet, it says, except ye be reprobates. All right. But I trust that ye, that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. All right. We're not reprobates, man. You don't want to be a reprobate as these other men. Second Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, the key word. That I wanted to get from this, this, this is why I put this scripture here is study to show thyself approved of the most high. Because if you study, you know, you will be in the spirit. You will know these things. And if you will know these things, it's, a, it's not all about knowing the thing, knowing these things, this 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 knowledge, uh this having this under, having this understanding, but it's about you applying it, man. You know, faith without works is dead. Uh scripture say, excuse me, scripture say, uh, be not a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. So study to show thyself approved unto the most high. You know, you're not going to be a, a, a all, you know, all your face in the book, you know, and you studying hard every day, you know, but you want to like I talked with the brother earlier, one of the brothers I was talking with in the camp and um, and uh, we was talking about how this truth, you know, and how we got to constantly um, stay at this work. It's like it's like being conditioned. You know, if you if you played a certain sport. And you was great at it and you was a professional at it and you knew what it takes you always stay conditioned you always stay in some type of shape so by the elder apostles starting with apostle tahar giving out the order to, to to do three shows it's helping you to stay conditioned so you can give an answer to anyone that may uh come across the word you be you be able to what uh uh, uh, cry out loud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, and then show the Lord's people their transgressions. You want to be conditioned, man. It's more than just camping Saturdays now, man. We at the end. It says, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, and you're not going to be ashamed. If you're working, brothers ain't got to get on you or talk to you. If you're working, for the Lord, man. 
How hard is it to pick up your phone? The Most High, Yahweh Shai, gave us these phones today, not for, not for pleasures of the flesh, but mainly the importance of teaching this truth, man. It's so easy, man. It's plain to just pick up the phone, download the app, then just, you got the word in you already. You a walking Bible. You got the truth in you. You put the scriptures together, do your show. Back in the ancient days, we used to have to write letters. We have to uh, travel on chariots, send messages and things of that nature just to get the word across to the different churches. But now we can do it at the snap of our fingers, man. Okay? We can do it just like, brother, don't even got to see your face. You're not going to see my face in this video right now. You're just going to see the, the words. You're going to hear my voice. And hopefully this voice that you hear is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, his words, man. So study to show thyself approve unto the Most High. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Because you want to speak 100% truth. You got many of these different camps out here that know that they're Israelites, right? And they're teaching that the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians, that they are Israelites. True, true. But is their doctrine and, and uh, is 100% correct? You got men out here that's not teaching. You know, HOI with Zabak, he's not teaching that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. He's staring you wrong. And that's one of the major prophecies. So you know what that makes him? A false prophet, man. The Lord is, the Lord said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, man. The Lord's feelings is not like man's feelings. Okay? See, you may have this feeling, carnal feeling. Oh, no, I love the way he teach and this and that. You know, he's still doing his thing. He's fervent. He's on fire. But if you ain't teaching the correct doctrine, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you on fire or not. You have to speak the right things. You have to speak the truth. And I'm going to hit you with something. For all you guys that's following and love that type of uh, spirit, right? You just feel good spirit. Get a, Go along and get along. Well, when the end come, when, when, once it's come, once the days are approaching, which we are, we are in, and they force this RFID microchip, go and get the chip then. All right? And when you get destroyed, blame the man that you follow. All right? Because it's blood on that man's hand, that prophet hands, man. You know? We're warning you. We're, we're telling you, don't take the chip. Don't get the mark. We're not coming against the law. We don't have pride. I see other men, uh, I forgot the name of their group, but I saw it on the feed, on YouTube feed, where instead of them saying uh, the elect, as in the written in the scriptures, the election, they're saying, they're, they're trying to use the phrase elite. Hey, check that out, brothers. These men got so much pride. Instead of them saying the elect, because they know that the Lord is really for the elect, and they know it by hearing it, all right, by the, by the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles. But instead of them saying the elect, because they got so much pride, they don't want to say the word elect, the election. They're saying the elite. That's crazy, man. And that just shows you pride, man. Now, I didn't click on the video. I just saw the title. And I said, wow. You know? So just like these men that have been around teaching, and, and they got a problem with Great Millstone. They got a problem with the apostles, man. They got pride, and this is why they don't want to uh, teach the truth. The full truth. They don't want to feel like they got punked or, or feel like they was corrected by these men. You know? But we're going to see, man. You know, so lock it for that little bit right there. Hopefully it's edifying, but let's get back. This is Luke 8 and 13. They on the rock are they which when they hear receive word with joy. And these have no, no root, which for a while believed in the time of temptation fall away. All right, so these are the men, you know, the, the, the parable, them falling on the wayside, man. Luke 18, Luke, excuse me, Luke 8 and 13. They on the rock are they. You are them that fall away. All right. If you fall away, you are part of this, man. You are fall, you, like a, a brother, uh, Shar, he say the fall away boys, man. You are part of that club. It says, they on the, they on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word with joy. So when they hear this word, you receive it with joy. Yeah, I love it. Yo, the truth. Yahal Bashim Yahushua Bragada. Come, brother. Call me Ashala. That's right. That's right. White man is the devil. That's right. We're gonna get the kingdom. Yahushua. Right? And and these have no root, meaning you ain't have no root because you eat if not with faith. It says, which for a while believe. So meaning they believed for a while. Then it says, 
and in the time of tr tr uh, tr uh, temp excuse me, and in the time of temptation fall away. So as soon as they got tempted with something, they fell away, man. They what they had no root with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, and for my last scripture, Hebrews ten and thirty five. Uh, I think it's more than okay. I believe it's more than that. Yeah, let me uh. Hebrews 10 and 35. Let me get that in the Bible. Okay. Uh, where you at? Uh, Hebrews 10. 10. And starting at 35. All right. It says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. So, brothers, don't cast away your confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Don't get envy at the wicked because of their prosperity, man. You know, they're in the short. Don't lose confidence in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Because, you know, you see yourself, oh, I ain't got no money. I'm tired of this shit. It's been five years. It's been, you know, this many years and this. I'm tired. I need, I need, I need an outlet. I got to make some money. Fuck that. Now you start pushing the truth to the side. Stop coming in camp oh i gotta do this i ain't gonna be able to make it this saturday you casting away your own confidence man your trust in the lord and you know what that they, that leads to you having no faith man it says cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense of reward meaning the reward is great for doing this work man and we going we going the world going, the world is going to see your reward when the lord rewards you verse 36 for ye have need of patience. And we know what the word patient means. Patience means suffering, man. So it says, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. So once we finish the will, because you can, you can start dribbling the ball, but if you stop dribbling, you didn't, that don't mean you finish the game. You quit. All right? So being that we got this truth, we got to continue to work. All the way to the end to the Lord say, game over. When that buzzard ring, you can look back at the game and you can check your stacks. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm uh, metaphorically putting it together. How we will be in the kingdom. Looking back at our lives being in Babylon. Looking at ourselves prophesizing. Seeing what the Lord counted for works and what he didn't. Seeing, you know, the reward we received from the Lord, man. So I'm comparing it like that. All right. He that got ears to hear, let him hear. It'll be a beautiful thing, man, when you finish the game, when it's all over, said and done. And we right here at the very end. So why quit in the fourth quarter with only two minutes left? All right. Don't be like Ant Anthony Joshua. <laughs> all right. Anyway, it says, um, verse 37, for yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. So for a little while. All right. And he that shall come will come. Yahawashai will come. Okay? And will not tarry. Okay? Because when these Jacob's trouble approach and things start, you know, hitting hard, oh, it's not going to tarry for the day that Yahawashai is going to approach. When he cracked those clouds with the angels, man. Verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. See? The just shall live by faith. So really, it's boiling down to the faith. To the just having the faith. You know, so any man that falls short can't do the work of the Lord to entertain into the to entertain into the world. Got things going on for himself. Then guess what? You're not of the just with faith. OK, it says now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. You see that? These are the words of Yahweh. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. OK, now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. So if you're going back into the world, goodbye. See you later. Sayonara. Okay. Good riddance. You're done. You're done. You know, if you're not motivated by these videos, you don't have the fear in, in men of the Lord. Because a lot of men, you think, yeah, people say, oh, I have no fear about God. Yeah, we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. But we also fear men of the men of the Lord. Men of God too Because they Some men have the rank And power over you So you're supposed to fear Those men too And those men 
a watches over your soul. So when they're 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 giving out these type of orders and they're giving these type of um standards to live to uh to 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 man yourself in, you supposed to take heed, man. You supposed to fear and go, shit, let me get on track, man. I'm bugging. That's your how about now shot. You know? If you ain't gonna ride the train and get off, man, your stop is now. Okay? Verse 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. See, we're not of them. Okay? Those of the elect, which I hope to be a part of, we're not of them that draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.